Cause there's still chills inside my bones Mine can't get back to logical Some days okay, some terrible First time I'd like to see a ghost If it was you Joining us in today's episode is this 23-year-old singer-songwriter, Sanjana Devaranjan. And also we are joined by Musa Salim. So hi, guys. Hey, hey, what's up? Hi, Nipa. Thank you so much. It's lovely to be here today. So let's start with Sanjana. Tell us more about yourself. What keeps you busy? I am basically a singer-songwriter based in Mumbai. And I was born in Coimbatore. And currently I'm working a day job. I also like, you know, teach music and I put out my independent stuff. I've been doing that for close to two years now and uh, with Musa this collaboration that we're doing uh, is is the first time I'm collaborating with another artist and it's my seventh single so I'm pretty excited about it and let's speak about Musa now tell us Musa what keeps you busy what have you been up to hey I'm Musa Salim I'm a singer songwriter music producer from Kashmir basically but I'm based in Mumbai and uh, this is I found Sanjana through a Spotify playlist uh, and I really liked the innocence in her voice and I wanted her for my song If It Was You. So that's how then I hit her up and requested her to collaborate on the track and that's how it happened. I have been composing music and producing music from past 6 years now. I have released 4 instrumental albums and 20 singles. My music has been supported by uh, Martin Garrix. He has played it on his radio show. Wow. Don Diablo has performed it at his festival performance for UNICEF. Wow. Alok, Nikki Romero, all of these DJs, music producers have supported my music in the past. And I'm, I have 12 more singles coming out this year. So let's go for the best. Sanjana, tell us how you got into music. I think it all started when I was all of six years old. Uh, I come from a, a Tamil household and we are big on culture. Uh, you know, if we know anything about the South Indians. Uh, so I was pushed into like learning all kinds of art forms from a pretty young age. And um, it started with Carnatic music. And uh, I learned that for a bit. And when I turned 13, I guess that's when I was completely exposed to this uh, whole new world of uh, global music, so to speak. The Taylor Swift, the Avril Lavigne and uh, uh, Justin Bieber, you know, and uh, and I think that's when I was truly, truly inspired to kind of uh, write music. And uh, and I think it started right there. Like I wrote my first song when I was 13. And I think with respect to songwriting, Taylor Swift was one of my biggest inspirations. Um, after which I think uh, it was just a constant, you know, self-learning path, like journey of discovering new artists and fig- figuring your own style. And uh, eventually, obviously, you need a professional training uh, to kind of really, really get into the, get into the groove. But um, I guess, yeah, it, it's like what? I think it's 10 years of writing music now, yeah. so it, it's great. <laughs> if it was you, so congratulations first of all on release of it. Tell us about it, how, how did you, what made you write the song Musa? It's a really personal song and I wrote it after I lost a few of my family members due to Covid and other things. It actually uh, outlines the numbness that comes from depression followed by grief. And uh, it not uh, only highlights the heart-wrenching pain of losing people we love, but uh, also encourages them to hold on to those memories by asking them not to let themselves go. Would you like to share your favorite lines from the song? I really like the lyrics that actually you have sung. That's that's my favorite part, lyrically as well and melodically. There are no days I can get out of me now. They've ever rearranged Can't stay in one place Gone by the end of day I guess they don't want to stay Unlike our memory mm-hmm. 
Going on five years old when I inhale, I feel your soul. I know when I'm buried down below with you and me, final result that calms me down. Now I'm wondering, now I'm wondering. 93.5 Red FM. It's rocking. It's rocking. <laughs>